I, this is a little weird. We're trying a different format. Fair warning. This will be a rather unhinged tutorial. Well, probably. I, I apologize would. if we're just not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. I am let's go. Uh, keep in mind this does only work in the studio version. Uh, we're in Fusion. And the first thing you're going to add, no surprise, is the depth map. Look at that. With fog, the farther something is away, the more fog there is. So you I obviously want to sentence. invert this. You might want to read. No, no I'm not going to re-say that sentence. Okay. <laughs> Here you can adjust the map level. So the far limit, basically how far it is before it becomes 100% white. The near limit, the opposite of that. For the and, record, and gamma is. I don't. I don't know what gamma is. <laughs> it's basically just like the brightness. Okay. Isolation. This is cool if you want to mask something. For the record, if I sound like I'm high on crack, I am not. You get the point. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you can do that. You can isolate stuff with that, basically. And then post-processing, you typically don't want to mess with this. This probably... That's loud. With this a lot. Yeah, but you know, they'll... It's mm. the, a realistic experience. That's why we have noise suppression. Adventure um, results. Fair lights. Add back detail to the edges, uh, the post filter, which you don't really want if you're doing fog or anything, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can contract and expand it, and you can also blur it. That would probably be the most useful one. But why use this one, which takes up so much more computing power, than if you were to just add a node after it with blur? So don't ever use that section, really. <clears throat> no, I actually... I am... Oh, okay. <laughs> I, actually, I actually tried to teach him. Uh, but I don't listen. Do this, but no, he doesn't listen. Um, so we're just doing it in this format. Now you're going to add a merge node. The most amazing node in the entirety of DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, well, it's like the... Shut how, up! How you basically do anything. I node. don't care, it's the best. Operation over, set this to screen, and you plug this bugger in. <gasps> Look at that! You have fog! It's crazy! Yeah. It's not wonderful fog, but it, it's fog. It is fog. It could be as simple as that if you want. Or if you're feeling fancy, you can change this down to hypotenuse. Which gives you a little bit of, di oh, of a different look. Look, I don't know what that is. I don't know what half of these are. You don't know what hypotenuse no one, is? No one knows what half of these are. Well, it's, like a, it's like a thing it's in a weird geometry shape. where there's... No, it's not a weird shape. It's like a thing in geometry where it's like a triangle. So it is a shape? No, it's like part of a triangle. It's like, isn't... Oh, oh yeah, it's... It's like it's a, an, no, it's it's like an a angle. Long... You can leave it at that, but typically, light will actually bounce. Basically, the fog would be taking on the color of the environment. Uh, add a color corrector node and add that out before the depth map. And now we take this and we make it a yellow green. <gasps> Look at that, it looks so much better. Let's do like, actually I might make it more, more of a golden color. I think that looks pretty good. Look at that, without and with. Which one looks better? You tell me. Uh, I think the one with. Yes. I thought you didn't actually have to answer that. I don't care. This, is gonna, it's okay. this video a... is gonna seem like Jesse just screams in my face the whole time and, <laughs> and I die. <laughs> I'm, I'm allowed to because I know him. Yeah, again, it can be as simple as that. Or add a fast noise node and I don't know why it does that. If you don't that. know what that is, that is, I believe, very similar to uh, fractal noise in Adobe After Effects. Yes, that is exactly what it is. It's noise that goes <laughs> And you can control the... <laughs> so we're gonna crank the scale up. Do you have any idea what we're doing? It looks like a TV. I want you to guess. Uh, what we're doing here. You're making foggy boys. Oh, it's like uh, attaching that to the mask. Attaching that to the depth map thing. Okay, but but what is... No. Uh, an ellipse mask here. Yes. You can do whatever a mask you want, but I'll make the soft edge a little bit. And now we will add a... Actually, this note is going to give it away. Give me, give me some guesses here before... It's gonna, you're going to animate it to go this way. No, okay. Uh -oh. uh, For the record, I'm not normally like this. You choose to be this way. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is I, true. I, I, you know, it's... Um, oh, it's the light rays. Light rays, that's right. It's light rays. It's so cool. Um, so now, we'll take the light rays and we'll throw these with this. The sheath is like the random seed, so you can get different looks with that. And the sheath rate is how you can like have it progress over time. The higher you have your sheath rate, the more it will progress over time, as you can see. Oh! And you can create some cool looks with that. If you're looking for something underwater, like you can do some crazy, like, like you can animate this, like this, like in your face, and you can do like that, which would be kind of cool, like underwater stuff. This is so, 
Mm, I like this. Yeah, VFX are cool, man. A tracker. You can use the camera tracker if your scene isn't just a tripod pan. This scene is just a tripod pan, so a 2D track will work just fine. But if you're moving through 3D space and you want to add multiple of these, you're going to want to do a camera tracker so everything can like make sense. I am not good with DaVinci's camera tracker. I've used it like once or twice. And the light died. No! Follow the Sweet Studios on Instagram. Anyway, back to my explanation. You can do a planar tracker, uh, if you know what a planar tracker is. <laughs> it's a track that tracks planars. It's like a corner pin, which that, is like, if you grab the corners, like, you can squish it around. A uh, surface tracker, which is epic, but you would never need that for this. But we're gonna use just a regular old tracker, and we're gonna put that right there. Also, one thing. I suggest you change this to faster while you're working, but the reason why you cannot do fog with faster is because you get spastic flickering. Oh my god, that looks horrible. While you're working, have it at faster so it can render in reasonable amounts of time. Change it back to better so there's less flickering when you're done. And this is still in beta, so there is a little bit of flickering with better, but you can kind of just hide that with either light rays, black bars. Back to what we were saying, tracker. Where do we want these light rays? We want them here, coming up from this, and they're hitting right in that hot spot. Wherever there's this light on the ground, that is a good spot to put it, because that's where light would be coming from. Okay, now we have a checker, and we can, that might be a little big, but who cares. Okay, so. I forgot I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I'll edit it, maybe. Go to the last frame that it's on camera, which in this case is I was freestyling. Yo, okay. Yo, yo. Uh, okay. No more. Check it. No more. Yeah. Add it there. Uh, track back. Uh, <laughs> now it's tracked. We'll take these light rays and we will plug them into. Uh, but nothing's nothing showed up. Why my eyebrows look like that? <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing's happened. What's the deal? Why is it doing this? Da Vinci's weird. Operation. Why is it set by default to none? Lord knows, but it is. Change it to match move. Magic. Now when we play it, it plays. Yeah, why is the sheath rate so high? <laughs> You'll notice it looks horrible. It's not at all where we want it to be positioned. So, transform. I think that's what I'm looking for. Why is transform XF? There's regular. I don't know what the difference is. One has XF on it. But now, you can transform it. You're gonna position it. In this case, it's still a little too sharp on the edges. So, solution. Wait. Uh, not box not, blur. Not block blur. <laughs> block blur. Yes. Just blur. So we can just blur that out a little bit. And hey, it looks solid. What do you think is next? Delete everything. No. You render it. Well, you could. But what do you think is next? You render it. Control C, Control V, and then you oh. shift add it to there. And now, you go to transform. Ooh. Yeah, layer organization. You do like that? Yeah, you know, Da Vinci's not good for organization. Maybe it's just me. No base editing is a blessing and a curse. You knew this. It, when it's you got into it's this. true. It is. I mean, layers also have their fair share of messes. Do you want to do? Since uh, crash. Now you'll notice. In this case, the light rays are in front of the tree, but they should not be. So, in this case, you may, if it's a harder case, if it's a different, if it's in a different situation, select a specific depth, use that as the mask. Uh, but in this case, we, oh Jesus Christ, I keep saying case, 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 case. Merge, please spline, plug that in, go here, go here, go, mask. Now, uh, it's a mask, and you want to go around the object that you're masking, obviously. Invert it, uh, soft edge a little bit. And Val, look at that. Do it all again! Yay! And hey, you know what? I don't really feel like continuing to do this. So I am just gonna open up the other video. Eventually you'll have something like this. And from there, what I like to do is make it all a little bit more dreamy and cool. First off, Add a glow, which you can see in these areas. Yay! Just adds a little bit of magicalness. Now. The glow settings are kind of, you know, self-explainable. Gain is how strong. Threshold is what exactly is glowing. Blend, duh. Glow size, duh. Blend, 
duh? What, what is duh? Like it's duh. What if you don't know what blend is, okay, what? it's like the how um, much something is. Aha! You caught in the act. Caught in four K. No, that's baby. actually what it is. Is how much something is. That oh, so you're like, act. You're right. <laughs> that is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's basically the opacity of the effect. Um, glow size. Uh, if you don't know what glow size is, man, get out of this. It's industry. the size of the glow. It looks like fantasy the more magic. the more glow you add can make it sort of uh, fantasy. For instance. Then a vignette. The problem with it is that it takes your highlights and it actually turns them into not true white. And that looks cheap, like you spent two dollar two minutes on your post process stuff. It looks bad. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. In order to avoid that. You can either make it look bad or make it look good, but with you extra can go work. In, so. Yes, correct. Advanced, and you change the compositing type down to soft light. And look, now the highlights. Whoa! Now the highlights stay just as bright as I they didn't were. even know that. Yeah, that looks good. Makes makes it look so much better. Uh, then, so enthusiastic. I know. I am very enthusiastic. Um, Are we gonna do a grade real quick? <clears throat> yes. I'm not gonna mess with temperature because I want to keep that with whatever the original video was. Maybe you I'm can make it warmer. Make it like golden, -y, crispy. Uh, not that one. You. That looks good. Looks... Look, that okay. That gives it like a graveyard vibe, less of like a happiness, versus something like I kind of like that. I kind of like that as well. So, add a node, decontrast out a little bit. Hop over in here. Okay, what are you doing? Finding a film look that I like. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, I kind of like that one. I like that. So what you're gonna do from here is do that, and then you're just gonna pop the contrast back up. This is if you do not have log footage. Obviously, this footage is not log it's like ProRes or something now in my opinion it's a bit too warm so I'm just gonna dial that back slightly then right there saturation a little bit I like that bring it over there zoom out a little bit go ahead and add a new node press alt P for a parallel node over here we're going to add just the slightest little bit don't worry it looks very intense here but it will not stay like that as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm taking the lift and gain, bringing it more green, and the shadow, bringing it magenta to kind of contrast that. Then I'm going to hop over into the keying tab, bring down that gain a little bit. Now, that doesn't really do a whole lot, but it just adds that slight little... We got this is the before, looking pretty, pretty sexy. Yeah. And then the magic after... And now the computer can't run smoothly, but it's fine. You get the point. This makes the shot look better, and this does not. We're thinking about making a second channel. Um, and it's literally just random crap. Like, yes, just just random crap. It'll just be fun to post stuff there. I was thinking you despise this. We call it date of speed dump. So yeah, we're making a second channel. Put a bunch of random crap on it. What should we call it? Leave it uh, down in the comments below. <laughs> I... You got games on your phone? Let's do the rest of the video out of blur. Out of blur? Yes. English. Yes. <laughs> no, don't go back. <clears throat> Sup, cutie? Stop moving. No! What? <laughs> it's fine, the other one's been charging. You got games on your phone? You got you. The heck? We freaking thumbnail face. Thumbnail face. <laughs> no. Yeah, drink that jug, boy. <laughs> he likes his water. No, I like water. Miles, my. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're about to say, don't make me cut it out. That's cool. Just that. Do I shoot bobblehead? Yeah. You like it? You can put it on the desk. Okay. <laughs> Freaking decor. I am. I decided. And you think I'm the one that no, that that uh at the door? I am the one that knocks. I don't know what. It is. I tried. I am the one who knocks.